for the labor laws ought to be freed or not. Personally, I think it's limiting the concern that uh, political leadership ought to have. So your, your vision and goal would be, your target would be, you were finance minister, free the animal spirits of the Indian Absolutely. people. Absolutely. And the way to do that is provide them the infrastructure, social and physical, so that they can lead lives where they fulfill their potential. One Don't more. let lack of facilities Absolutely. hold it up. Absolutely. One more element. A citizen of India must feel proud and confident, not diffident. Citizen of India must really delight in being Indian and producing for India. Uh, I find that accent because the citizen is fearful of going to the state. Every time the citizen goes to the state, the state stings the citizen. The state is not supportive of the citizen. I say this having spent, uh, what, how many years now? 42 years in Indian politics. And this is where the change of attitude, the change of mindset that you spoke about is so important. The change, the state needs to become supportive and helpful Absolutely. rather than vengeful. Absolutely. The state continues to be imperially demanding, acquisitive. It takes from the citizen. Why do you rob the citizen? The state is, uh, why does the state want to go and inhabit people's bedrooms? Let the citizen free. Uh, when I talk of animal spirits, I'm talking of instilling in the every, each and every citizen of the country a sense of profound confidence about themselves and about the country. You can't if you separate it. Absolutely. And at a very small level, that profound confidence in yourself and your country can't come if you don't have water, you don't have constant electricity, you don't have schools, you don't have roads. And that's the need why social and physical infrastructure is paramount to instilling that confidence that's and right. that in turn leads to animal spirits. That's it, absolutely. Power. Uh, we will say I live here, I live in the Prime Minister's uh, servants' quarters, as it were. See, just across the, the wall. When people come to know where I live, they say, but aapke to, you don't mind speaking Hindi. Aapke to 24 Imagine, please, the separation that this creates between citizen and citizen. Then our system, you can't take a decision on power plants. So everything is removed in corruption. And system, <laughs> uh, don't ask me to go down that path. But as I listen to you speak, and I'm sure hundreds of millions today hearing this interview will say the same thing, there's a unique man sitting in front of me, not a time. politician who's understood not just the angst of the Indian people, but more importantly, the fact that they're not free, the fact they're they not. don't have facilities, the fact that like animals they're kept harnessed in a shed. That's right. Why, if you can understand this, can other politicians not understand it? And I know, I, I'm not unique. I am certainly not unique. It's, it's generous of you to say that. I am. At, uh, it is, it is, uh, I have endeavored to find answers, but not as moral majority, not in, uh, I, I have endeavored to find an answer for myself. Where do I take the next step? Oh, my creator, tell me. And what's the answer you find? The answer is try and take the step. It is almost Gandhian, wherein you are able to wipe the tear of the face of the poorest man. If you are in doubt, my origins are rural. I come from a village, born in a village, grew up in a village. My home is rural. Mm, my constituency is rural today. Look at the beauty of rural India. Look at also the agony of rural India. Don't let us get obsessed with political economy, economic theory. Please get obsessed with human want. That's why when I had the responsibility, I had said, I'm bored of GDP. People can't eat GDP. Let's try and work for gross national contentment. That is the aim I would have endeavored to work for had I got the job. Now I don't. Uh, I sit on the sideline and watch the game proceed. My last question. You've been a finance minister. Yes. Do you think that economists make bad finance ministers, that you would actually need someone with a different vision and a different mindset to be able to produce the results that people look for in a finance minister? Two answers to that, two, three, four sentences. 
I had rather uh, chocolate, I think. Once put up the signboard and I held it there. Men at work, economists, they say. It's the colors are being, uh, uh, when I said it's political economy that we are dealing with, we are not talking of pure economics as it is taught in universities, colleges. How do you apply the theory of it to a country as beautifully diverse as India? You go 20 miles in over different economic situations. Economists are not the best uh, managers of the economy of a country like India. They are very important instruments, tools that will give you the input of the technicalities, but they are not. Decision has to be political. If the politician then must stand up and be counted for the asset as also for the liability. Mr. Jusman Singh, thank you very much for thank an insightful, you. revealing, and dare I say it, very different interview. Thank you very much. Thank, thank you, sir.